So next thing would be, uh, what if you don't know the product? If you send me a wrong ID. Okay, when we can't find it in yeah. the database, yeah. to, so to say. Error handling. Okay, error handling, yeah. Yeah. So let's have a look at error handling with gRPC. Okay, so let's see. Yes, what we can do. So we continue where we left off yeah, we, last time. So. Exactly, <laughs> we continue where we left off last time. Um, we made our get product API. Um, we get the product here from our mm. service. Uh, we had a sleep here uh, to show the blocking. Um, let's uh, not do that for now. Mm -hmm. Um, let's say we have um, a list of products our in memory database. Uh, products, uh, list of, and we have shoe one. And uh, shoot two and associate by. This just makes a map out of it. Mm -hmm. So, what we have here is a map from uh, the string, the ID to product. Mm -hmm. okay. And now, here we can say return uh, product products. Come on. Um, product ID and IntelliJ already knows a hey, this can be null what if we don't find it in the map so we do that we return an optional here mm -hmm. um, now in here um, now this is optional um, so we cannot always map it mm -hmm. um, so now what we can do is on item if null okay then we can say fail with mm -hmm. and provide an exception and there is a status runtime exception for grpc mm -hmm. and it wants a status and there is status and then there's a couple of predefined statuses also, there's not found. Let's have a look here. So, um, yeah, there's some statuses already exist. Permission denied. Yeah, so standard pre standard stuff that they also have this <laughs> in gRPC. Um, and this is all red because of yeah. I think we need to do it this way around. <laughs> Yeah, before the mapping. Yeah. Um, so um, now we have a not found. Let's have a look how this um, how this looks like. So then uh, we get an error response. Or... Yes. Okay. Uh, we get a not found. Mm -hmm. um, so if we so yeah, we, we get, get your status found. code for not found and if we do shoe one then we get our shoe mm -hmm. and then okay and shoe two should also be okay uh yes yeah okay and no three um yes um now there's also a way to um add a description but actually when i tested it i didn't Get it in the response. Okay. Uh, part with ID not found. Request the product ID. So, not found. There's now some more stuff in here that 
da, 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 test results. Um, yeah, I need to check if that's a Quarkus issue or if I need to specify something more. Mm -hmm. um, but we can maybe also, there was, there's metadata. Let me check how we create that. Start with null. data oh. keys oh this is a map okay apply um oh. doesn't want to do like this Oh, it's a metadata key. We will look at this later. Okay. <laughs> we will do that in the in another stream. In the next. Yeah. Stream. Um, but yeah, that's how you um can return errors mm -hmm. um with gRPC. So yeah, quite nice if you can just chain it how you want it when you. Want. Yeah, and if you have uh, could have different uh, error types, then you just add another one. Right? Yes, um, my main problem with this is this uh, with mutiny. Mm. You have these method chaining, and uh, this can get quite complex. Okay, um, you you saw with this if null fail with mm. and so on. Yeah. Uh, so you have a lot of bloating. Um, you need to write a lot of stuff. What you want to do. And not so much the actual code. Mm -hmm. I want to call get product by ID. If it's null, return some error. Yeah. Um, that's really what I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, but now I have a lot of other code written there from the mutiny framework. Mm -hmm. So that's what I do not like. 